Set 21327 typewriter is the 35th lego idea set to be released it comes with 2097 pieces and it is for the ages of 18 and up and will be released july 1st 2021 the early vip access is june 16th 2021 it retails in canada for 269 dollars and 99 cents canadian in the u.s for 199 dollars and 99 cents us and in the uk for 179 dollars and 99 cents pounds and the rest of europe for 199 dollars and 95 cents up to 199 dollars and 99 cents euro for some reason the uk one of the regions has has to pay five cents less and i don't know why but i will be listing it as 199 dollars and 99 cents euro on the information sheet over that way that way <clears throat> set looks awesome so for the front of a box we have a giant picture of a typewriter on a black background uh, upper left shows a typewriter and lego ideas set uh 35 on here and sort of an old typewriter uh style right there uh the bottom has all of the information that i just told you and that's the front very minimalistic it's actually sort of you know interesting that way uh on the back, we have another angle of the typewriter set. To the left of that, there is a letter from Crick, uh, from Thomas Kirk Chris Christiansen, uh, C uh, owner of Lego. Uh, below that is a picture of the typewriter actually being used. Uh, to the right of that is the dimensions. So it is 10.5 inches. Um, or 26 centimeters from the front to the back and it is 10.5 inches or 27 centimeters from side to side so slight very slight um difference in length it's not completely square um on the bottom right it shows special letter from uh thomas kirk Christen christiansen included which is the letter that was in, uh, which is in the upper left of the typewriter, and to the right it shows the ideas, so you can share your idea, gather support, uh, Lego will review, and then it can become a new Lego product, and it has the ideas.lego.com site right there. Uh, one side has just another picture of a typewriter with Lego and Lego ideas set 35, nothing uh, different from anything that's been seen so far. Uh, the other set has where the components were made and where they were distributed, including the warning that due to small parts, if uh, children sage uh, zero to three and possibly older, you know, consume them, there's a possible choking hazard. And to the right of that, it has the typewriter in two other languages, so the name of a the set there. The top of the set shows the keyboard and all the keys that are on it. Uh, it once again shows typewriter and the Lego Ideas number as it showed on the front. And the actual size indicator is the printed shift key. And the bottom has nothing but that awesome decal that we are used to seeing in 18 plus sets now. Along with the usual recycling trademarks and UPC information on the bottom. And the set is a tape box, two pieces of tape on either side. So, the set comes with 19 bags labeled 1 to 11. There is an extra bag of a plate and five of the sand color rods that you could only find in the uh, botanical uh, flower set before. Uh, bags, one has three bags, and bags three, four, five, six, and seven have two bags each. The instructions, I'm very interesting, are in a uh, cardboard container instead of plastic, which I've never seen before. Um, I actually like this uh, approach because uh, I think because you know it's easily to re easy to recycle, and I think that this is a good start for Lego because they are going to be doing paper pl packaging soon enough, so that everything can be recycled. And this is a nice step in the right direction for that. So, ooh, nice. Oh, don't forget the sticker sheet. So, sticker sheet has uh, is printed on the uh, mirror stickers. It has two stickers on it. There is a... Now, this is where it's really cool. So, there is a booklet here for the letters that you get uh, in the set. Which is... Uh, uh, there are 43 different letters, each a different language. And what you can do is you can tear them out of this booklet. It's uh, perforated right uh, right near the spine. And then you could put the page in the typewriter so it looks like it's actually being typed on. So there's an entirely separate booklet for that. That is really cool. And the instructions, ooh, these are nice, thick instructions. Okay, so the front of the instructions has a nice 
Um, oh, and due to this being an early release, um, there's a large possibility that I will release this during the early VIP period, at which point there will be no images on screen that I usually have right at the bottom here of these pages inside of the instructions due to the fact that LEGO does not release instructions until the actual full release date. But uh, I will do this so that you can get a little bit of a look. So there is the front, which has a nice, very front, uh, front view of the uh, typewriter on it. Uh, you have the inside, which goes with the uh, a bit of the design behind it. So right there. Uh, next two pages deal with the um, deal with the actual history of the typewriter itself, which is uh, once again I always find this stuff to be very interesting. Here I'll, I will have to read that later. Um, next one is about the creator of the set. Or next two are about the creator of the set. Which is really neat just to see this. Um, uh, next one is about the actual designers. Uh, and our next two are about the actual designers, Lego designers who went through and um, tweaked the product as needed. Uh, interesting thing about this, I believe, if I was right about it, uh, is that the one. Oh, wow, that's the original? Wow, it really changed. Um, Huh, quite a few adaptations. Um, yeah, and then we have the thing about brick separator. Um, oh, this is not gonna. Okay, so pages one, two, three, and four deal with the key section of the board. Uh, pages five, six, and seven deal with the actual um, mechanics underneath, and pages nine, ten, and eleven deal with the uh, aesthetics on top of the back of it. There is a lot of Technic stuff in here. Wow. Uh, there are three pages of parts on the back. There is a feedback and win page, as there is with a lot of these big sets. There is a Lego Ideas, um, share your idea page here. So it goes through all the steps to um, showing how they can become an asset, and it shows the uh, Sesame Street, Winnie the Pooh, and the Medieval Blacksmith on the second page there. And then the final picture of the set after is just a simple picture of the set with the actual typewriter and, you know, the piece of paper in it. So that's for that. Uh, I'm going to give... Okay, I'm going to give packaging a 4. Now, okay, so okay, so let's say this. On screen, packaging will be a 4. I'm going to give it a 4.5 because I like the direction that they are going with the instructions, having them in the cardboard instead of the plastic, I really like that. And that gets a 0.5 because it shows, I mean, it's it's more creative than just getting a piece of plastic, you can recycle it, it's great. So packaging is a 4.5, even though it's gonna be a four on the screen because I don't have animations for 4.5. Um, and now I get to build this, yay.
So this is the TIE Fighter set. Um, absolutely phenomenal. It comes with an orange brick separator and a couple um, very lackluster amount of pieces, mainly very small dots and you know a couple Technic pins, but and that's about it. So the amount of pieces you're getting uh, that are extra are not really worth it at all. Um, but <laughs> this totally is worth it. So for the set, uh, oh god, where to even begin? Okay, so you have the keys here, which uh, I'm going to be doing a separate video sometime at the beginning of July about the exclusive parts because this is a um, because this is a early VIP release. There is no easy way. There would be uh, probably about five hours of research just to figure out what's exclusive to the set and not, and I'm, let's just say, a little too lazy to do that, so at the beginning of July there will be a separate video which will showcase the instructions, um, the uh, instructions perfectly, and will have all the exclusive pieces for the set in it. But uh, yeah, the set, so you have um, all of these keys, uh, nice little keyboard laid out in the front here, the shift keys, shift lock and backspace do not do anything, but all of the other keys will actually work like a typewriter, it's extremely awesome. So for the set, you press a key, um, a piece of Technic in the middle will, will lift up pushing this striker against this that will then move a mechanism that's really cool so in clocks you would have uh, in order to um in order to help with the timing of the seconds or at least just the timing of a clock you would have a gear under tension and you would have a um another piece a sort of uh clawed piece there and only one part would be touching it at a time so you go here and it would move and the gear would turn and it would go up and the gear would turn and go down and the gear would turn and it would do that and that's what it has in here which is really cool so every time you click to go up it um the thing moves up to turn the gear a tiny bit and then when you go down it goes down and this thing moves over one spot this king this this thing from the position all the way from the right to the left can move 23 different times before you then have to um, Before you then have to go like that again to move it back, but it's really cool mechanism So that happens and every time this will move over uh, There is the letter I have a letter in here from that separate booklet with the 43 different lang uh, letters uh, each a different language of the uh, of the um, letter from the uh, current owner of Lego here and you can use the little knob on the side to bring the letter up and down there is a little uh, lever here which switches from the black to the red uh, ink on the ribbon it's a lever that has absolutely no functionality it's sort of meant for a you know just extra sort of authenticity feature um, there's a little piece back here that does I would have to guess something I don't really um, know what this does probably something with uh, probably probably keeping like the page from tipping that way and just having it go that way something like that is really the only thing I can think of but I'm just gonna leave it like that because this looks a lot oh, there better um, and when you need to bring the thing over uh, so what you would normally push when using a typer is is you would push this piece on the side of a typewriter but because it's Technic it is extremely delicate and will come off very easily so you just push on the side and it goes that and it even sounds like a typewriter apparently uh, my mom has uh, parents had a typewriter and it sounds exactly like it and apparently the other feature which is this also sounds like it so that's really cool to see um, this typewriter was actually very uh, very fun to build it was somewhat difficult um, okay so when I built it there was an issue of this getting stuck so I would type and it would go maybe to about there but then it wouldn't go anymore and also the um, striking piece here would also get stuck over there sometimes um, I've seen a couple of other people's reviews and they noticed the exact same um, and none of them noticed that there was a comment in one review that actually made mention of it and um, they said that their typewriter would actually get stuck the same way um, you need to build 
this to the exact way that the instructions tell you. You cannot, um, you cannot deviate in any way when you place pieces in it. I took this apart, uh, which is why I, you know, different shirt. This is two days after I first built it because I had to take it apart and rebuild it to get around this issue to fix it. Um, but when the instructions say to place a certain technic piece, um, a loose piece, for example, the base of the slider in there, when you see in the instructions, place it that exact way. This isn't like where you would create a, a you know, technique like excavator, you know, um, vehicle where you'd have the actual scoop arm, and as long as it was in any of the positions, you know, that it would normally be in when you were building it, it would still work. If, let's say, you built the arm straight out, and, you know, it would still work, or if you built it completely curved, it would still work in the end. This isn't like that. You have to build it exactly to what the instructions say, or there will be issues with it. But that said, this is an extremely cool set, and I really like it. Um, yeah, so for build, I'm going to give a set of five. This is the perfect combination of Technic within a system set. The Technic has a lot of really cool build pieces. Um, little things, uh, the entire mechanism was really cool. Um, like, for example, the way that this gets tension to go that way is that it has a spring-loaded uh, piston in it. So the spring pushes the piston out, and right now in this, uh, uh, right now where it's out with this, it is currently compressed, but when the thing goes along, that is the piston, you know, the spring pushing the piston back to its natural form, and that's what pushes it that way, along with the Technic mechanism to make sure that it only ever goes one bit at a time is really cool there. I really love that. Um, but the build was absolutely fantastic. Having to do it a second time, not so great. So once again, if you're going to do this, um, go through the instructions and do it properly, you know, exactly to what the instructions say so that you don't have any problems and have to do it again. Because building it once is fantastic. Building it twice after it's not working, you know, doesn't feel so great. Um, the play is going to be a two. There is functionality and play in here, you know, being able to have fun with this, play around with the letter, you know, all of that stuff. But other than that, there is not a lot of play in here. This is made just prominently as a display piece. And that's what a lot of people are going to be doing. Speaking of display, that's going to be a five because this is an incredible display. This looks like a real typewriter. I mean, I showed a picture of this to my parents when it just got announced. And for a second, they went, oh, it's a typewriter. It's, it's, oh, it's Lego. Like they didn't know just from the pictures that it was Lego because it looks so much like a real typewriter. And this dis and this as a display piece is gonna be awesome. You know, this is like this is one of the things. So like the flower bouquet and this, like these are the things that you put on a living room and show off to guests. There's a pandemic going on, so not much in the way of guests, but you get what I mean. Like this is something that you want to display. This is awesome. You know, something that should definitely be displayed to show it off. So display gets a five. The value is going to the value is going to get a four. Now, piece to price, piece to prices, uh, it's iffy. In the UK, piece to price is actually really good or better than, you know, sort of equal. Uh, Europe, most of Europe and um, the US piece to price is sort of balanced there. And in Canada, it's not. It's actually not good for us at all. What is, you know, $2,000 set for $270 piece to price isn't great for us. Um, so that's not the thing where the real value comes in is the build because you're going to learn a lot of building techniques you really are this shows off a lot of technique things like this shows off a lot of ways that that you know this stuff can be built like you have these blocks which are straight on here and they're flush you have blocks on the side here and there like this shows how to create a i guess you could say a boxed object from many different angles and make it look almost completely seamless. It is it is fantastic for that. It's fantastic for the Technic and just the way that you get to have an awesome piece to display here. Um, when when I first got this, when I first saw this, set, I was rather iffy about actually getting it. I didn't. I looked at. It, I went, oh, cool, a typewriter. But eh, I mean, it's just a typewriter, and it's you know. Once again, the price was like, eh, I'm probably not going to get that. But this 
is a Lego idea set. And, it, and if Lego ideas has taught me anything is that none of Lego idea sets are um, boring in any way. They're always great. Whether it be the Saturn V rocket, the TARDIS, the Ecto-1, the Beatles submarine, uh, the medieval blacksmith uh, Barracuda Bay when I eventually build that. Um, they have all been fantastic and that's what made me look at this thing and I've seen some reviews saying you know they were on the fence but then they decided to get it and they have not regretted that. This is going to be a set that I can look at in 10 years time and I'm going to be I did not regret that decision to buy it at all. I'm going to be happy with this for a very long time because it is a very very cool set um, The and like the build was fun it looks awesome and this is just something that I'm not going to regret. This is predominantly a set that is for people who want something cool to display, for people who want to be able to once again have a little bit of n uh, nostalgia in Lego form for something that maybe they had in their house as a child. Um, I would also say that this is a set for once again people who need to have every single one of the idea sets to help support those people who are creating them because really this was an absolutely fantastic set. I cannot be, um, I, I, I can't be unhappy with this at all. Um, I would recommend that if you're looking at this and you're not sure, I would just recommend buying it. Like this is, I, I, I rarely recommend that you just go out and buy a set to buy it, but this is one of the ones that I would recommend that if you looked at it and you even had the slightest interest, get it because it is absolutely fantastic. This being able to see, you know, this much functionality in a display piece and being able to being able to play around with it being able to learn so much about new ways to build lego and all of this stuff is absolutely fantastic and while a lot of people are on the fence about this set i think that the set is going to do extremely well and if you are on the fence i just recommend that you buy it and with that i will see you all next time